Green is just saying, um, you know, that she's happy for me to, 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 to be out and to call her if I need to talk or whatever. So I guess she just dropped it off when I wasn't home. Weird how she just lets herself in and out like she still lived here. Yeah, I, I will I will talk to her about that. I will. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, now that you're a free man, maybe you could use a little change of scenery. You, me, Emma, maybe Spike. A little sun, water, sand, palm trees. Vacation? I mean, everything's just been so crazy and intense. So why not? Just get away for a little while. Clear your head, come back for a start. I, uh... Yeah. Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Jake. Listen, we're having, um, I guess you'd call it kind of a wake for Dave, and I thought maybe you'd like to toast his demise. Uh, I'll pass. Thank you for the invite, though. Are you sure? This is a once-in-a-lifetime. Passing, but thanks again. Jake, he's, he's the throwing awake for David. You don't want to go? No, I don't. The last thing I want to do is celebrate David's death. Hmm. You're probably the only person in town. Yeah. Well, I just... I have a pretty uneasy feeling about it, you know? I just, I just wish that I could remember what happened when I was with him, how it all ended. You didn't poison David. But I might have seen who did. I am calling it the blackmail in honor of David. Now, why the drink gotta be black? See there? <laughs> oh, no. I'm so glad you made it. Okay. Yeah, well, Angela called, so hey. Oh, I see. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? This is why you uh, ran off so quickly, huh? Look, it's a party. You followed me. Yeah, I was curious. So what, 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 what is this for? It's a wake for David Hayward. Uh-huh. Huh. Well, look at that. You've got all of David's enemies right here in one room. It's kind of convenient, don't you think? You're going to celebrate or you're going to do your job? I'm going to go say hello to my wife. You know, I never thought this day would come. Now that it's here, I'm almost afraid Hayward's gonna jump out from somewhere and yell, surprise. Yeah. Now he's six feet under where he belongs. With the worms. Now, yeah. it isn't right to speak ill of the dead, you know. But maybe in Hayward's case, we can make an exception. Hey. Remember that libidazone party? Oh. Huh? Who could forget it? Oh. Oh, sure. A little flask of some magic juice, and how many lives was he trying to ruin with that? Yeah, and he didn't stop there, either. He went and drugged Crystal right out of a happy marriage, just like he did to Dixie. I mean, their lives, yours, too. Never were the same. Yeah. He tried to use his voodoo drugs on my dad. <laughs> Nearly killed him, too. Yeah, and frame me for it. I got thrown out of the hospital for that one. And then there's you, who knew who David was and tried to expose him for being the ass that he reported to be. Yeah, and you went to work for him after that. How does that happen exactly? You know what a person's like, talking about David here, yet you go to work for him. He's dead. So what, now you, you, you need a bad guy and so it's just gonna be me? You were his lawyer. I was his lawyer, not his partner in crime. Partner, lawyer, kind of the same death, you know? I mean, uh, both up to no good. So you want a bad guy? Well, it's not me. It's whoever murdered David. You all right? I will be. Greenlee? <laughs> Watching David's coffin going into the ground, it's just... I can't believe he's gone. The minister did a good job. 
Yeah, he did. Do you know who poisoned my father? I have no idea. God, I hope the police find whoever did it. I mean, David did some terrible things, but that doesn't mean that whoever killed him should get away with murder. Jesse and Eliza won't stop until they catch David's yeah, killer. I hope so. Listen, I know a good meal won't make it all better, but it'll help. You're welcome to join us. I'm good. Well, you said your goodbyes. Buried me. <laughs> but it's not over yet, is it? Because you're afraid Ryan went to my room and poured poison down my throat. Did he do it? Or did he not? That is the question. Is it possible your shiny white knight committed cold-blooded, premeditated murder? a crime committed. A man was murdered in cold blood. So all of a sudden, you're about truth, justice, and the American way. You know what? I really don't care how you feel about David. No one deserves to be murdered. Oh, that's right. He was just an innocent victim, huh? The man took out more people in Pine Valley than all the tornadoes combined. That's right. He wasn't a martyr, Liza. He was lethal. And there isn't one person in this room that's going to miss him. Pine Valley's a hell of a lot better off without him. Yeah, I say we let him rot. He made my family's life a living hell. Anybody with the name Hubbard had a target on their Same with my family, the Martins. Amen. He tried to claim our son as his. Who does that? I don't Who know, but the way that? he played with people's lives, it's messed up. He played with all of us. Poison was too easy. Stop it! What the hell is going on? We're, uh, having a impromptu wake. Marissa just lowered her father in the ground. Show some respect. If not for David, then for my daughter. So I'm sorry. I started it. I apologize. I shouldn't have. No, no, it's... Uh, I'm mostly responsible for this. I would never do anything to hurt you, Marissa. Marissa. I am so sorry for your loss. I really am, sweetie. I, I might have seen something, some some clue that could help us find David's killer, if, if I could only remember. You shouldn't stress about this. It's not your job to figure it hey, out. But if I can help, then... You've done more than enough. Hey, you did everything you could to protect Greenlee. And now David's gone, and he can't hurt anyone else. You're free for more than just those charges, Ryan. You're free to get your life back. I want to help you do that. Ignore it. It will go away. Mm. It could be your last dose of recovery meds, and you'll have to sign for those. I can't. Well, okay. I'm glad you're home. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, you said that last time. Well, at least this time you have your clothes on. Hey, um, uh, what's going on? I really am sorry, but I need to talk to you. Oh, okay. Can, can you call me later? It's about who poisoned David. You know something about who poisoned him? Can we talk? I'm gonna go for a walk. No, 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 you don't have really to. Really needs you. Listen, whatever she's got to say, she can say in front of you, okay? Actually, I'd prefer to do it in private. Hey. Daddy. Um, wow, I mean, I know today was a, was a half day, but you're home early. Don't you have a play date with Melly? I wanted to make sure that you were still here. I'm not going anywhere. Do you promise? Cross my heart. No more jail? Ever? Ever. Yeah, so I know how scared you were when I got arrested, but 
That was like a big mistake. That was, it was like a really bad dream. Okay? That's right. And no more bad dreams, okay? Okay, why don't we go look for a cookie so your dad and Greenlee can talk? Okay. It can wait. Oh. Totally the wrong time. Oh, uh, are you sure? Have a cookie with Emma and Madison. I'll catch you later. Okay. Sure we can. Come on. The funeral, it must have been tough for you. And I know nobody wanted to make it harder for you. Are you going to be okay? I have my mother and my son. I'll be fine. Well, that went well. Yeah, it looks like the party's over. Awkward. Before we leave, I'd like to say a prayer for David. And if you're not cool with it, trust me, I understand. Well, it looks like you got a full house. <clears throat> Father, David wasn't an easy man, and certainly didn't make life easy for those around him. But for the people that he did save as a doctor, he probably damaged just as many. I mean, he seemed to revel in causing pain, taking revenge. But the man behind the anger was a troubled man who knew tremendous loss. And that kind of grief scorches a man's soul. So we pray for David's soul as he's reunited with the loved ones that he lost. And we ask that you show him the grace and mercy that he gave so few. And bring him the peace that he never did find on this earth. <laughs> <laughs> 